so we're all connected up I think um, so turn the old cigarette lighter on got the old silver button mounted on the, on the old handlebar mount bolted on there and if we uh, give it a little protest press so that's the job well done afternoon everyone Sunday afternoon I thought I'd uh, better start getting back into my YouTube because uh, it's been a long while since I've done a video anyway um yeah I'm uh, just fiddling about with my one of my new little toys that I've acquired over the last few months I haven't put this on my videos yet because um, I haven't got round to it um, but I keep meaning to make a video um, so I'm working on this today it's, uh, it's an uh, Apache it is mine um, I a little deal with a, my mate Bruce and uh, yeah, it's an Apache RLX 100 so um, it's only a little class as a little kiddie squad really but um, it's got plenty of kick and plenty of power um, when I got it, it um, basically wouldn't run um, it was sort of in a shed for about 13 years um, and just needed a new lease of life so Pulled it out of the shed, put a new parallel in it, cleaned it all out, um, got it running, put a new battery on it, um, and then over time I've sort of sort of a couple of other bits on it. Um, where the oil light used to sort of be in on in this little hole, I didn't realise until then. Put a switch in there, and as you can see, um, I don't know how well you can see actually. Um, put two um, like tractor work lights on it. So the headlight didn't work either and it was a bulb and electrics on these once they get wet and whatever are notorious for a bit of problems so um, basically just ran three core all the way over to the back side the front side um, also put um, I don't know if I connected them back up no I didn't connect them back up um, these little LED flashing lights like you put on a, a grill for a tractor or a car um, put them on as well so got little recovery lights um, and in true style you can't not have um, a horn on something like this so today's video is putting a set of air horns on now I've, I had them on one of the field cars and so I basically just um, put the, the bit of wood that it was on I just cable tied it up here but the two tone air horns the um, air compressor sits there, the two tubes go, air tubes go around the front underneath the bumper and then all I've done at the moment is just put um, cable tied the, the 12, 12 volt here up to the existing cables that I've already got in here um, poked it up through the handlebar and what I'm hoping is with the cigarette lighter that I put in all I did was just run a cigarette lighter to here for the, um, the recovery lights um, all I'm hoping to do, as that just turns on and off with the switch on the end, um, I'm hoping I can just um, wire the get get the power for the horns from the cigarette lighter, which is here. Um, I've just got a Wago connector. I'm going to put another one on in a minute, and then that will give me with the Wago connector. That then gives you almost three connections to go from. You can obviously put more in, but the amount I'm going to use the recovery lights, I don't think they need to be. I can put both on there and not worry too much. Um, the recovery lights were just a bit of a novelty, really. Um, but I've put a handlebar mount here, um, which is nice and solid. Can't wriggle that around. Um, and I'm going to put a bolt in here, which is sitting here, ready, waiting. Um, I have over here. Um, I have a bracket which I just put in a box to spray up. So. Um, that bracket will bolt on and then wherever I put it, here somewhere, um, I've got this button, um, just a two terminals, simple button, um, going to put, so hopefully when, when you want to use it, you don't want to be reaching too far for it, so hopefully I can just put the, the button here somewhere and um, you'll just be able to reach around and touch it, because you don't use your left hand as much as you use your right hand with, a, with this quad, so um, as it's got the thumb throttle on the right hand side you almost sometimes don't use your left hand so that's the plan um, I'll try and set you up somewhere so that you can um, watch what I'm doing but I'll yeah hopefully at the end of this we should have horns or air horns on this quad bike which um, yeah right. 
play the positive from the recovery lights um, negative so if we now turn that on that little LED light comes on certainly does um, so what I need to do is is my bracket dry over here so I've got a bracket dry over here I think that's just about dry <laughs> is it? yeah Feels dry ish. My fingers going black? No. <laughs> I think that'll do. Let me just go and grab another battery because my battery's about to die on this camera. Right, we'll see how long this battery lasts. I'm just because it is on one bar, so we'll just leave it until it runs out. Um, so what we need is that is the longer bit up there. Right, we'll pull up to there somewhere, aren't it? And we'll cable tie that to the auto start stuff. Um, I think. I don't know what that goes to. Where's that? Oh, that goes to the light. So, I'm just running the cable. Three four cable up. So I know I've got enough to play about with. Um, so that should be enough, I would have thought. If not, I've always pulled some back, so. So if we cut that. It's going to be a lot of cable actually, isn't it? Cut out there somewhere. Can always pull it back and bundle it up underneath the cover. Um, right, I'm pull that back out again. So we now have. Oh, I think I'm going to put the switch on the positive side. Um, make it easier I think that's what I'm going to do that'll come in like that to about there somewhere won't it so um, I don't actually know if you can see what I'm doing can you just about um, so yeah these two wagos are where the power comes in um, for the cigarette lighter and then the when I put it in I just put the two just strip the wires put two positives, two negatives into the way you go, so it's given me a third slot to put this cable into. Um, I think I'm just going to cable tie that there like that and then have... Um, okay, so if I run... If I cable tie that to the back of there somewhere. I just cable tie it to that. And run the positive there. I'll we'll strip that there somewhere. I think I'll switch it on the. Um, I'm not using the earth. I'm using three core, three core pond flex. They call it, but it's um, it's decent thickness, just like two core cable. Or three core cable, sorry. So if you need three core for like making up a short extension lead, really handy stuff. Um, if you need it for running a bit of wire like this, it's also brilliant. So um, just wondering where I'm going to run that cable. I think it's going to probably cable tie to that bar there, wherever that is. Cable tie it to there and run it up there so it really I can run that to there can't I so do 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 uh, what do I do 
think I'll put the earth into there somewhere. Um, just wondering how to put the cable so it looks tidy ish. I always cable to that there, can't I? So that'll look fine. That'll go behind the plate. Um, can run the positive straight into there. So if I cut that there somewhere. that in straight away. I'll switch it on the negative side just because that's how I'm going to do it. Change my mind each time really but it doesn't really matter with 12 volt how which way you do it. Um, as long as you make the circuit it doesn't really matter too much I don't think. Um, right so I've got a little M, I think this is an M8 bolt. Um, just an M8 bolt and a little Check that you can see what I'm doing. The L M8 bolt and a plate that I've made. So bolts me go in there like that. Slot it on like so. Washer on the back. And uh, I haven't got any nylock nuts, so I'm just going to put. Hopefully with one nut, it should hold. If it doesn't, I'll just. Um, I have to, might have to get a longer bolt actually. It's not best, but. We'll see how it goes. I'll just do that up. I think I'll undo actually. It's not the most handy. Do that fairly tight. That ain't going anywhere. It's got no weight on it, so I can't believe that it would. Um, it would uh, undo itself unless it's really. So the vibration's that bad. I'll just grab that switch. That's when you go looking for it and it's already on it. <laughs> um, so, do is. Oops, you lost it. Slot that into there like so. Oops, yeah. Run that on there like that. I'll do that up at a, in a, at a later date when we've got the, both the wires in. Um, we weren't that tight earlier, why are they tight now then? That one's alright now. All I'm doing is just undoing those two little screws where the terminals are going to go in. It's not very easy to record, so you just have to use your imagination. Um, so, what we now do is, it's going to be cable tied up there, so I can now run that to there somewhere into the That, so I'll run that into the switch, one side, if I, can, if I can get it in the hole, so to speak. one half of the um, switch complete and then all I've got to do I'll turn that round that's in there get a turn it tight before I do anything else turn that out of there right turn that around a bit stick with the battery I think so yep yeah, still on one bar of battery um, I think I might actually have really that's close. always shut the lid on the stack box. When that happens, you get pull out, you're not happy. Really not happy. Just 
got an old bit here for an old from an old RCA cable that I'm just going to use to wire the rest of this up. So it's going to go from actually there's already got an end on it, which is very very handy. So you push that in there, do the back of the terminal up. Again, I would film it, but it's a bit of a pain to get in here. Um, whoop. Push that in there. Um, hopefully, when it's um, a bit nicer weather, um, I'm hopefully planning to get the man himself, Juicy Brucey, um, so we're all connected up, I think, um, so turn the old cigarette lighter on, got the old silver button mounted on the, on the old handlebar mount, bolted on there, and if we uh, give it a little protest press, So that's the job well done. Um, so all I've got to do now is um, try to tighten this. I don't know what size this back nut is on this um, switch. Let me try and find out what size. Oh, I think it is a 22. Very lucky. I just grabbed a 22 out of my toolbox. And uh, I think it fits. That's very lucky. Very, very lucky. So, I would say that's pretty much. Let's just put everything back in the old box. Uh, I'm only 22 goes in there. in the box for the nuts and bolts. Uh, push on that one, yep. That goes on the nuts and bolts and screws and all sorts. Pile. Battery for the camera. Do it in a little, in a little bag. Um, so now we just need to have a little bit of a tidy up. Fairly tidy for everything that's on it. It's quite tidy, really. Um, key down here. Show the old uh, lights. So that's what I got on the front. Got one of the power lights. Um, turn it off by the box or like that. And then yeah, so basically it. 